Well, welcome to Weekly Wisdom. Today I'm going to ask one simple question that comes right out of Proverbs chapter 4. What path are you walking on? Proverbs really, really lays out there's the path of the fool and the path of the wise. There's the path of the evil and the path of the righteous. Listen to this passage. It talks mostly about one path, a little about, about another one, but listen for those two paths as you hear this passage. This is Proverbs chapter 4, beginning of verse 14. Do not set your foot on the path of the wicked, or walk in the way of evildoers. Avoid it. Do not travel on it. Turn from it and go the other way. For they cannot rest until they do evil. They are robbed of sleep till they make someone stumble. They eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. Here's the shift in verse 18. The path of the righteous is like the morning sun, shining even brighter till the full light of day. Now it shifts back again. But the way of the wicked is like deep darkness. They do not know what makes them stumble. Where's it focus for the most part? The path of the wicked. I think that's because that's a wider path, it's an easier path, and it's the one we tend to kind of walk along by default unless we're choosing to walk on the road of the righteous, the road that honors God. And so a few thoughts about the path of the wicked. Here's what Proverbs says. Don't let your foot go there. When you're going to take that next step, say, is that the path of the wicked or the path of the righteous? And oftentimes we can tell if we just stop and pause and ask ourselves and don't walk down the path of the wicked. And then it goes on to say, turn from it, Re, you know, repent, get away from it. If you find, if you say, but, but I'm walking on the path of the wicked, then turn off of that. There's another path you can walk. So walk away from that kind of life. It also says in the passage, it's the path of following people who are doing things that are wrong. We, we think about peer pressures for children. Now you can be in your 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, or 80s and still be heavily influenced by the people around you. Who are you following? Who are you walking with? Are they walking a path that honors God? And then, the passage actually says that doing evil and wrong and walking on that path is the food and the drink of foolish people. There are people that their very sustenance is walking on a path that goes from God. Be careful you're not following people like that. Be careful you're not walking that path. The passage goes on to say, it's a dark place where you'll stumble. The path of the evil, the path of wickedness is a dark place and we'll end up falling flat on our faces, bruised, bloody, broken in the road because we are walking a bad path. But then the passage changes and it basically says in verse 18 that, that the path of the righteous is light, it's safe, it's the warm way, that the bright shining light of the morning sun on your skin, you feel the warmth of it, you can see where you're going, there's a sense of safety and confidence. Walking on the path of the righteous brings joy, it brings life, it brings a confident step. And so here's my encouragement. In this coming week, each time you're gonna start, take a step towards something, especially something new in your life, ask yourself, is this a path of righteousness that honors God, or is this a path that could lead me to stumbling, falling, and darkness? And if it's that, stumbling, falling, darkness, turn away from it before you even go down that road. And if you're walking down the wrong road, know that God will give you the power right now to stop and pray and say, I'm going to turn around and start walking the path that's light and life. Will you pray with me? God, thank you that you give us freedom to choose. We, we are not robots. We are not, not pre-programmed to do everything that happens in our lives. We can choose to follow you or we can choose to walk away from you. Lord, this is our prayer. May we walk on the paths of righteousness. And if we're on the wrong path, we pray that we'll turn around and go the other way and get on a path that honors you and brings you joy. We pray this in your beautiful name, Lord Jesus. Amen. May you walk in God's wisdom. Enjoy the rest of your day. God bless you.